Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. If you're as curious as we are, lovers of the deepest questions about existence, and always searching for answers that still elude human understanding, you're in the right place. Here, every video is a step towards uncovering the most fascinating mysteries the universe has to offer. Today, we invite you to reflect on something that could forever change the way you see the world, the cosmos, and even yourself. What you're about to discover isn't just a theory, but a complete overturning of what we've considered reality for centuries. Have you ever thought that everything around us might not be made up of particles, as we've been taught? And what if I told you that the universe is, in fact, made up of something much more fundamental, more dynamic, more fluid? We're not talking about science fiction, but cutting-edge quantum physics. Today, we will explore the revolutionary idea that it's not particles that build the universe, but fields. Are you ready for this journey? Get comfortable, because what we're about to explore goes beyond classical physics and takes us right to the boundaries of reality. For centuries, the dominant idea in physics was relatively simple. The universe is made up of tiny particles, the so-called atoms, which combine to form everything that exists. The idea of a solid and defined structure of matter fascinated philosophers and scientists from the time of Democritus to the scientific revolution. Isaac Newton, for example, envisioned a mechanical universe governed by precise and deterministic laws where every object, large or small, moved along calculable trajectories with precision. For a long time, this view dominated how we understood reality. We thought we could break everything down into smaller components, reducing existence to a series of interacting particles. And why wouldn't we? Newton's laws explained the motion of objects on Earth and the stars in the sky with incredible accuracy. It was a stable, predictable world and, above all, solid. Everything seemed to be in its place, regulated by laws we could understand. But soon science would discover that this view of the universe was only the surface of something far more complex. It was just the first window into a much deeper reality, where the boundaries between particles and waves, between matter and energy, began to blur. The first shake-up to this classical view came in 1905, with the advent of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. With his theory, Einstein dismantled the idea that space and time were separate, rigid, and absolute entities. On the contrary, he discovered that space and time are flexible and warp in the presence of massive objects. They aren't just empty containers in which particles move, but they are as much a part of the universe as matter and energy. This insight was revolutionary. Stars and planets bend space-time around them, creating the orbits we observe. Imagine space-time as a huge elastic sheet. If you place a heavy ball on it, the sheet will curve, and any object approaching that curve will follow a distorted trajectory. This is exactly what happens with gravity. It's not a force that pulls in the classical sense, but a consequence of the curves created by objects in space-time. With this revolution, we understood that the universe is not static at all, but bends, distorts, and expands. Yet, although this discovery was already extraordinary, it wasn't enough to answer all the emerging questions. Meanwhile, another group of scientists was opening the door to a second, even deeper revolution. We're talking about quantum mechanics, a world that doesn't follow the laws of classical physics, but is governed by probabilities, uncertainties, and paradoxes. This infinitely small world seemed to obey completely different rules than those governing planets and galaxies. One of the pioneers of this revolution was Werner Heisenberg, who formulated the famous uncertainty principle. According to Heisenberg, we can never know both the position and the velocity of a particle with absolute precision at the same time. The more accurately we try to determine one of these quantities, the vaguer the other becomes. In other words, reality at the quantum level is fluid probabilistic, and seems to elude our ability to measure it with certainty. Here, particles don't behave like tiny bullets traveling in defined trajectories. Instead, they seem like waves fluctuating in a state of probability, only deciding where to be when they're observed. It's a bewildering idea. Until we measure a particle, it doesn't exist in just one place or state, but in a superposition of states. This phenomenon is illustrated by the famous Schrodinger's cat paradox. A thought experiment in which a cat inside a box is both alive and dead until we open the box and observe what has happened. And this is where Federico Fagan comes into play. If until now we've been talking about particles, 
Fagin invites us to consider a completely different perspective. What if reality wasn't made of particles, but of fields? According to this view, particles are nothing more than ripples in a deeper sea, a temporary manifestation of energy fields that permeate all of space. Think of a vast ocean. The waves you see on the surface are only a reflection of what's happening in the depths. Similarly, the particles we observe aren't independent entities but expressions of fields that extend across all space. Fields exist everywhere, and particles emerge as localized waves of energy. This approach completely transforms how we view the cosmos. We don't live in a universe of separate and distinct objects, but in a vast, interconnected field where everything is related. The idea of the particle as the fundamental building block of reality gives way to a more dynamic and fluid conception. Fields, unlike particles, aren't discrete entities. They extend without limits and are present everywhere in space. This new vision has not only scientific implications, but philosophical ones as well. If the universe is an ocean of fields, what does that mean for our experience of reality? What does it mean for our consciousness? Fagan has hypothesized that even consciousness itself might be connected to a universal field. The human mind might not just be a product of neural activity, but an interaction with these fundamental fields. This idea opens up a new horizon in the debate about the nature of consciousness and artificial intelligence. Machines, no matter how advanced, may never be able to replicate the complexity and depth of human consciousness precisely because they aren't connected to this universal field. While artificial intelligence relies on calculations and algorithms, human consciousness might be a manifestation of a field that transcends the simple mechanical functioning of the brain. We are only at the beginning of understanding these fields and their implications. Each new discovery brings us closer to a vision of the universe where everything is interconnected, where reality itself is a continuous flow of energy and information. Our understanding is still in its infancy. But one thing is certain. The more we explore, the more we realize how much there is yet to discover. The universe of fields is vast and mysterious, but it's also an inexhaustible source of wonder. And we, as explorers, will continue to ask questions, seek answers, and be fascinated by the mysteries of existence. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey. If you enjoyed the video, I invite you to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell so you don't miss the next episodes.